Hello, my Capricorns. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. All right, guys. Keep in mind, too, that this energy can be reversed, okay? So take it how it resonates, guys. If you're interested in a personal, my website information is down below, and you can check that out, all right? Here we go. Let's see what your past issue was in this relationship. My Capricorn, somebody was flighty. You felt like they weren't all in. They were all over the place. Um, maybe they traveled too much for a job or something even, okay? Hold on one second. I got to get some of this glare out of here so I can see. Hang on, guys. Let's see if this is better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, yeah. Um, some of them traveled a lot for their jobs. Maybe they didn't spend a whole lot of time with you. But I think more so, this is somebody that you do, you do not feel like was as invested as you were or are. Okay, let's see what their issue is with the relationship or past issue. Hmm, I think they feel like um, you kind of tricked them. Um, you kind of manipulated the situation however it benefited you, I feel. I feel like they think that you have like the gift of gab even like you kind of use situations and people at your own disposal is what i'm getting here let's see what is keeping you from them hmm i think your fear is what's keeping you from them i think um I think you're having to face your own insecurities, your own level of obsessiveness. Maybe you are very possessive of this person. Um, maybe you're afraid of commitment even here. Maybe you don't want to commit. Maybe you feel like they're obsessive even. Some of you guys probably feel like this person was like really trying to like lock you down like seriously and not figuratively, <laughs> you know, like, you know, you couldn't go anywhere. You had to tell them every move you made. I mean, something like that. Maybe this situation is very codependent. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Hmm. They're still very much thinking that um that you like if you wanted them you would come towards them or it's like they still feel like you're manipulating the situation they are like hyper vigilant i feel and they are bothered by you know feeling that you tricked them or you know manipulated them even still very focused on you so i feel like there is like this level of you know obsessiveness shared between the two of you here mm -hmm. yeah but you know this is a capricorn card so i i think more so you know for you like within yourself that this is just you not really um, knowing if you want to be like settled down to one person or one situation, one thing, you know, but there seems to be like this level of codependency between the two of you. Maybe this person is a, a tiny bit like, you know, obsessed over you. Maybe they thought you were doing things that you weren't necessarily doing, you know, th but this is how you, you came across to them. Maybe there's a level of paranoia with this person even, okay? Let's see what's currently going on for my Capricorns. Hmm. I feel like there's something that has sparked your interest. Um, you're interested in somebody or something currently that uh, I think that you are, you're really wanting to, you know, start anew. Not sure if it's with this person or not, but there's something that you're interested in. Um, 
yeah that 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 you like you like what you see you like what you have found out let's see what's currently going on with them a lot of i feel paranoia going on here a lot of worry um, a lot of thinking even very gemini energy here hmm a lot of thinking a lot of worrying huh maybe this person's worried that you know you'll come back if you'll come back even if you'll try to make things right if you'll apologize here let's see what your influence is hmm I think this is definitely you wanting to come back look at this something that you're wanting to revisit here in the past and I think it's this person and I think there is like I said this codependency between the two of you here but you're not really sure that's why you're coming as a page you're not really sure about you know revisiting this situation again here Scorpio energy let's see what the influence is for them hmm. I think it's the fact that um, somebody walked away here. But you guys are in a cycle together. Let me just point that out before I, I say anything further. Um, I do feel like you guys have spent, you know, not only share a past together, but you sh probably share past lives together, past karma, okay? Um, but they, their issue or their influence is that um, I think that you walked away, that you left, okay? they're still carrying that burden they're still thinking about it here okay so let's see what's coming in for you guys i think you will find your way i think you will you know you will shine a light on this connection and figure out what you need to do from here for sure i definitely feel that way definitely hmm Let's see what's coming in for them. The Nine of Pentacles. I think they'll gain their um, their stability, their security. I think they'll start feeling better about themselves because this person really needs to focus on themselves right now. They need to stop thinking about what has happened in the past, get out of their head. They're feeling trapped. But I think they will come out of this because they are coming as the magician here. Even though, regardless of this placement for their past issue, they still have it within their power to make their situation better. Okay? And I think they will because they're coming here as a Nine of Pentacles in their future. In the future. I also feel like um, not only is this this them getting their stability back feeling confident feeling lovely um feeling financially secure but i also think that maybe you guys are making an offer this is very virgo energy right here maybe it is a virgo that you're dealing with does not have to be okay we also have pisces here sagittarius scorpio um and i think i said gemini already but you know it's just the energy that's present but i think that you will figure out you know what you want to do in this situation and once you do i think there will be um a coming together at least to talk things out if not a reconciliation okay because you may want to remain single you know that may be your conclusion that may be their conclusion you know only you guys know let's see what your blockage is here hmm. the seven of swords so the blockage is the fact that um i think you know you you want to be on your own but you still think about the past you know, you still think about this person. And I think that you feel 
as though when you walked out, if this is you that walked out, um, could be the other person though, but if this is you that walked out, then I think that um, you're trying to figure out a way how to come back even how to come back from how you left even okay and i think that's too what you're trying to figure out here let's see what their blockage is hmm. they're not emotionally stable is what i'm getting here and you know they do have some tough energy going on here with this eight of swords and the ten of wands like you know a lot of worry going on still focused on what they feel like it's like you know a manipulative situation um very codependent here hmm i think they also need to you know address issues with themselves um and not you know create a boundary like you know they haven't done anything wrong either because a lot of times in relationships you know we we each play a part um some of our parts may be way bigger than the other ones but you know all in all we still play a part and i think this person probably needs to um accept you know have accountability accept their responsibility and why you guys disconnected here okay let's see what the advice is for you mm, i think it is to whatever has played a part in you know this ending to put that to rest so you can enter into this new cycle with no baggage um clear this up I feel like there's a need to clear this up and put an end to this type of energy. Um, there's also a need for some of you, like I said before, this is a lot of traveling. There's a need for you to travel to this person and address these issues surrounding why you left, possibly, okay? Let's see what the blockage is for them. Hmm. Well... Not the blockage, but the advice. I'm sorry, guys. I think this person um, has a lot of, like, um, for one thing, they're not emotionally stable. They probably are aggressive. I think this is a need for them to be a little more um, calm and relaxed and maybe more receptive, um, more supportive. Uh, more like compromising even because I, I think that there's a le level of not wanting to budge like you know what they think is what they think and we see that here with them viewing you as manipulative <clears throat> I don't know whether you are or not but I think what they think is what they think and it's just like that's it but there's a need for them to be more open more receptive uh, more inviting at least be able to be willing to listen i feel okay let's see what the outcome is for you guys hmm makes of cups three of wands i feel like this is you guys either starting over new with someone else um and this person waiting on you know whatever it is that they're looking for to come in but as far as both of you are concerned here together, I do feel like this person is waiting on you. If not reconciliation, um, you will address this person. And this energy, when you do, when you do this, you know, this is going to be healing energy. It's going to be healing for this person too, as well. And that may be like um, what sums all of this up, maybe. So that is what I have for you, and um, I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.